How do I make this look cute? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a mini glow up. Um, honestly, well, it's a challenge because I'm challenging myself in a way. Number one, it's here, which I've already started with. Um, so I just stretched out my hair now with that straightening brush dryer thingy <laughs> i'm going to be attempting to braid my hair i know again and i told you it's not something that i was gonna give up on so i'm gonna be doing it again i'm going to be using this darling hair piece and this purple it was part of my um gift bag so they only gave me one hair piece and the whole point of this video is just to the the challenge is to see if I can, you know, get over myself without spending like money. I'm gonna try and for the hairstyle out I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna try and squeeze in one packet of hair piece. You know, at the end of the day, it's all fun, you know. I'm, I'm not really taking this, like, very seriously, you know. It's just gonna be, you know, cute little video, so stay tuned. So, this is how much I managed to do. And, um, I'm pretty impressed myself. Are these? They're not that bad. They're not as bad as I thought they were gonna turn out. Um, I did struggle at the beginning, I mean... They're not perfect, they're just, you know, Amanda's efforts. I'm kind of whispering because people are sleeping. Um, I started at 6 o'clock and I did take a few breaks in between. As I continued to do the hair, I got better and better actually, even though I got more tired. You know, the front is the part that matters because when you left up the back, the front has to you know, cover that up. And I still have a lot of hair left, which I'm very happy about because last time I ran out of hair piece, but right now I'm confident that what I have would definitely last me and I think I would even have some left over. Here is the final look. This hairstyle kind of, this hairstyle kind of makes my forehead pop out. Um, this is not the height that I wanted it, so I wanted it to be like, kind of like this, but I think this is, guys, like from my last hairstyle, the one that I tried to braid to this, I'm getting somewhere with this. If you look from far, it looks okay, but you know, as I come closer, there's like a few bumps and stuff but it's not that bad honestly like this is something that i can confidently walk out the house with i did do redo some of them at the back and i did also make them a little longer this of all things that i have to do for my i don't know how to call this is the hair the hair was the hardest and nailed it <laughs> so i want you guys watching to give me a big thumbs up for actually did for eight minutes and now that my pores are open up i'm gonna be doing a turmeric face mask so this is turmeric which you can find possibly in your kitchen and i'm going to be making it really simple so just water i'm also gonna add a little bit of um 
my brain um what is this thing again olive oil i'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to just you know make it a little more moisturizing also i would advise you to use like a what is it called what is everything called a a paintbrush a brush a face brush because like Turmeric is very staining. I don't have one of those. I use my thing with your fingers. Well, this is how mine turned out. The consistency is very watery. Wait, can I get big watery? I mean, I don't care as long as it covers my hand. Okay, this one is really, really thin. It's a really thin, watery consistency. Honestly, I just use my eyes to measure it. I eyeball the whole thing. But you can just start with half a tablespoon of turmeric and see how much. It will probably be more than enough. But, you know, you can really eyeball this. Also, use a... You should use a, um... You should use a container that you're not afraid of getting all stained up because turmeric... Turmeric stains. It will... Bruh. Baby, I'm back by popular demand. So as you can see or not see, I have this yellow film on my face and it's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I am going to wipe off some of the excess turmeric because you can rinse and rinse and rinse all you want but there's still going to be a little like turmeric residue left so I'm taking a white cotton pad and just Usually whenever I do this mask, I do not see like an instant result immediately, also because of the whole yellow film. Um, but then the next day, after washing my face again, like some of my blemishes are kind of like, you know, minimized. So tomorrow is the final day of the glow up, but for now I'm gonna go and clean up right here on L3. And so I'll see you in the next slide. So we've made it to the last stage and that's makeup. I already have my outfit on and it's all purple because that's what I was feeling and uh, everything I'm wearing is thrifted. So this right here that you're going to see in a second, in a minute, is um, I think it was 15 Rand and the skirt is 3 Rand. It was 3 Rand. So, all together, my outfit is 18 rand, guys. Glow up on a budget. So, for makeup, you know I'm not doing much. First, I'm going to start off with my base. So, for my base, I have my foundation and lotion. So, I'm face cream. I'm going to mix them up together and create a BB cream. I'm going to take a bit of powder. I'm using the Black Opal True Color. I'm just going to um, powder up the, my OED side, which is my forehead and my nose, the T-zone, basically. So I'm using this Catrice Cosmetics. Um, it's Easy Tattoo Liner. Before I cat eye i'm not great at cat eyes i'm gonna go and do it in the mirror and then i'll be back hopefully it's a1 i honestly tried with this cat eye i think here it's okay and then here just failed me completely can never get them to look the same next we're still doing the eyes and now i'm going to curl my lashes this is actually like what I use on a daily basis, you know. Look at my heads, by the way. This is how I struggled with the cat eye. And I'm gonna go with the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Now that that's the... Oh, this side keeps bothering me. Oh, then if I continue to work at it, I'm gonna ruin it even worse, you know. 
I look like I like this side and this side is just um okay I don't really like this mascara by the way but it's what I have for this look I'm not gonna do my bottom lash just keep it simple and then I'm going to take this mascara this is the defiance yeah it's by by like this is actually my favorite mascara it's my the first mascara i ever bought and yeah it's actually finished so you can even see the container is like done but i just use the little bits inside to do my eyebrows like can you just see the wand like this this is perfect i don't really like thick ones see how my brows are just something else this one is better than the other one this eye is better than the other one so now i have balance <laughs> i don't know if i should do eyeshadow i don't know if I do eyeshadow, it will be definitely purple. I'm going in with this Revlon Color Stay palette. And I'm just going to use this, this shade right here. And then I think I'm done. Yep. Yeah, I'm done. But I feel like my eyebrows need a little... I feel like my eyebrows need a little bit of help though. I don't have black eyeliner. I have like this green one. So um, I'm just going to use it. Just fill in a little bit of spaces. Okay, so now I'm no longer feeling the eyeshadow. Whatever. Last step is... What's the last step? lips and i'm using the catrice lip glaze okay i'm gonna actually put a lot this time because i want it to like shine that's makeup done it's a little simple too simple but i don't care i don't want to overdo it this is my basic skill level of makeup I'm not feeling the eyeshadow though but I can't remove it